Hola and welcome to Tayrona National Park in the northernmost part of Colombia. Yeah, we've left Cartagena and made our way over to Santa Marta, which is the town nearby that we're staying in. And then this morning we woke up nice and early and took two rather sweaty public buses <laughs> to get here. <laughs> yeah, we left our apartment, we got on a public bus, which should take about 10 minutes to get to the public market in central uh, Santa Marta. And then we jumped on the bus, which goes from Santa Marta to Palomino. Um, should take about 45 minutes to get here, but... Oh wow, this just landed on my hat. <laughs> Here's your friend. <laughs> we're in the tropics. <laughs> yeah, and it's midday already because it took a few hours to get here. But we're finally in the park. Again, we had a bit of a faff getting in the park. In the past few days, we tried our best to get cash out. We even went to a public mall where you would think it would be possible, but it just wouldn't give us any cash. So we've turned up here with what we had on us. Yeah, unfortunately, we only had 120,000 pesos on us, uh, despite multiple efforts to try and get cash out like Craig just said and um, when we arrived we thought it'd be okay because we saw online that it's 40,000 pesos and that you could pay on card so we figured okay we'll pay on card and then we'll keep our cash on us for buses and lunch inside then we arrived this morning to find you've got to pay 5,000 for insurance in cash and then for this one you have to also pay in cash and it's not 40,000 pesos it's 68,000 pesos per person plus we've got to leave ourselves money because we've got to hike two hours now to the beach mm -hmm and we only have snacks on us so we need to buy lunch and then hike two hours back. It's now midday already yeah. and the park closes at five o'clock. So we've got to get so speeding. Today has been a bit of a nightmare so far and we've got to have cash to get the bus back to Santa Marta. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting but you know, we're here once, it's beautiful. We want to go and hike through this jungle and see all these animals and things. So we're going to do that. Luckily we've got water and a few snacks on us so we'll do that. We'll probably end up having to share a meal when we get there then hike back and get the bus back. But thankfully, the lady was really kind and because they didn't have any way, because we tried to pay with card, they didn't have any way to accept card, they didn't have any way to let us pay. We tried to go to the restaurant nearby and ask if we could just get paid, buy something and get cash back. Uh, and they said, sorry, we've got no electricity, we can't let you, uh, can't give any cash. So then we offered to do a bank transfer, if that was possible, or to, is there an option to go online and pay on the website? Absolutely every avenue. Thankfully, she let us have basically two for one. So we've ended up having to, so we end up giving her enough cash just to pay for one of us and then it's like buy one get one free so not not really ideal and we feel really bad but thankfully to the kind people here in Torrey National Park they've let us go in today so the only other good. option was for us to just head back to Santa Marta yeah, and waste two-thirds of a day so. yeah and not go in but the sun's shining and it feels beautiful here it feels so tropical yeah. the journey here was nice once we got out of Santa Marta but we need to go up here jump in a minivan to the point where you start the two-hour hike. Let's go! Let's go! Craig and Kirsty, a couple who have been on the road for the past three years sharing our adventures around the world. Right now we're making our way through South America and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. We also had to pay another 5,000 just now to get the minibus to this point of starting this two hour hiking trail. But we're here, we're on the trail. It's beautiful, it's very tropical, it's very muddy, so you need to bring boots like this, which thankfully we have with us. You can see why, here's an example of why you need the boots. Trails are pretty squishy. It's so beautiful they look. And it's nice and cool in the shade after being all sweaty on the bus and leaving the town of Santa Marta. We've just jumped out of the shuttle bus, which takes about 10, 15 minutes. And you see lots of people avoiding taking it and walking along that, that trail um, to the point where you get dropped off. But we've started the two hour trail uh, to Cabo San Juan, and we're hoping it's a quick two hours <laughs> so that we can have a bit more time there than just having a quick dip in the sea and then uh, coming back. <laughs> like, in the sea with some food. Go. <laughs> yeah, there's a few boardwalks, but it is kind of sandy, muddy on route, so we've got our hiking boots on. Make sure you bring at least trainers. Ideally, you need hiking boots for this bit. 
um, but we are now on a lovely boardwalk. With loads of nature, I just heard something there. <laughs> Rustling around in the hedges. Yeah. But yeah, let's step on it and get to the beach. Yeah. Wow, that hole. Yeah, I know, don't it makes me nervous. Look at that. <laughs> I just started the camera and went to speak and look up at the camera. I'm glad I didn't take my eyes off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this. All these rocks. Yeah, they look really cool. These big boulders. And this is why we're frustrated. Because we knew it would be beautiful here and we would want to spend time here. We could camp here, but then we'd need cash to pay for the camping. <laughs> so we can't camp here. <laughs> Plus, no food for a few hours is uh, missing. A meal or two is bad enough. We're about 20 minutes into the hike and we've been able to hear the sea but we've just got our first sight of it just over my shoulder and it's calling us because it is seriously hot. Sun's beating down, grateful for this rainforest because it's giving us shade. And Kirsty also just said our uh, Southwest Coastal Path hike was good training for this. Yeah, similar temperature then as well. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> but yeah, really, it's dripping with sweat. But they make you work for Tyrona National Park, they really do. <laughs> Better be but worth it. It's going to be worth it when we get there. Just come to this little hut along the path where they do refreshments. This is quite nice and useful. You can sit down in the shade, I think probably get a drink and an ice cream. But we have our first views of Tyrona National Park coastline. Check this out. Wow, we've just come out of the rainforest and this view has revealed itself. <laughs> The coastline, look at that, and these boulders, it's just so beautiful. Dreamy. Let's get ourselves onto that beach. extremely muddy and treacherous section. Definitely need hiking boots for this. Flip-flops, absolutely not. Trainers won't really cut it. And also, don't know if you can hear that, you can hear monkeys in the background. Can't see them. Oh wow, and this trail of ants. step over them. Absolutely full of life this place. Now we've just reached a little river that you've got to cross. <laughs> to be honest, half tempted to call it quits here yeah, and so. just paddle in this river because it looks so beautiful. But if you want the full natural tropical experience, you'll get it at Tarona National Park. Oh my gosh, I might just lie down here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ladies first. Pull my face off, I really don't want to get my feet wet. I'm going to try and jump across to there. Ready? You're going to get splashed. Nice.
Yep, that's what the boots are for. Oh wow, there's a huge lizard. Don't know if he's just making his way through the chicken pen or if he's after lunch. Yeah, never mind chicken crossing the road. It's a lizard crossing the road to get to the chicken. <laughs> there's a bit more in this area. There's some campsites. It's also stands with fruit. I'm sure you can get some drinks here as well. There's a panaderia here as well. I'm sure it will be cash only. <laughs> We've been walking for an hour and a half and we've finally reached the first beach or the first beach that you can actually use and sit on. There's a few beaches en route but they appear to have flags and barriers blocking them off. I think they need to protect some of them. Um, but yeah, here we are. It's so beautiful. An hour and a half in. I think it's a little bit further to Cabo San Juan. We're maybe just gonna stop and ask someone and find out if it's worth going any further or just chilling out on this beach for today. Yeah, there's a few restaurants here, but it's like a nice amount. It's very it's nice and quiet, it's not too busy. Yeah. I quite like the idea of this beach, but we should probably see it all. <laughs> I'm just hot and I want to get these boots off my feet. <laughs> I really want to get in the sea. So tropical, look. We've got the sea this side. And then if I spin around, you've got the jungle and the mountains this side. What more could you want? Paradise. <laughs> All right, time to do the limbo, wifey. Put the backpack I don't know if I can. How low can you go? <laughs> I'm cheating. You're cheating. <laughs> I can't, the backpack's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to do the same. Whoa. The weight in my backpack. So tropical here. We're apparently about 20 minutes away from Cabo San Juan and it's quite brutal again, this pathway. Kirsty put her flip-flops on so she's lagging behind but so many of these trails of ants. Look at this. about an hour here and then just make it our way back before sunset hopefully we just get an in driver back and miss the bus but yeah look at this place so worth it wish we could camp here but unfortunately we have all of our stuff back at the apartment in Santa Marta so we can't camp but we might come back next week because we're going to another area nearby so we might make a trip back over this way because you know why wouldn't you <laughs> yeah it's taken us about almost six hours to get here from leaving our apartment, which is absolutely crazy considering we're living in the closest town. We left this morning just before nine o'clock and it's just before three o'clock in the afternoon. And we don't have any money for food, so just gonna have to eat the few snacks we do have, but we have arrived and we do have all this beauty. Check this place out. Wow. I cannot wait to get properly in that sea and cool off. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have a nice rest and cool off ready for the two hour hike back. Was it worth the two hour hike? Uh, I think it's worth the one here, but I'm not looking forward to the hike back. <laughs> I wish we were staying here longer. Yeah. Like the night. <laughs> yeah, I wish we had known how much time you need. I knew it was gonna take two hours to hike from the entrance to get to Cabo San Juan, but never imagined this morning was going to take so long with all the buses. <laughs> yeah, today we've done three different buses, 
but not just any buses, the Colombian buses, so you know, they take their time, <laughs> you know, sit around, sweat, and wait, and then they might go, they might not. <laughs> and then you get serenaded by someone who comes on the bus. Yeah. In, in Spanish, rapping at you. Holds the whole process yeah. up even longer and then asks <laughs> you for money. But two hours of hiking through crazy terrain, water, mud. Basically, although we're wearing hiking boots that are kind of waterproof up to your ankle, we still got soaking wet feet. I ended up walking barefoot at the end, which actually I kind of advised for the last one. But basically, whatever shoes you wear, there'll be a moment where you're wearing the right shoes and wearing the wrong shoes. Like, it's just so much different terrain. You could do it just sometimes being in like reef shoes and most of the time being in walking boots. Yeah. It is beautiful here. All these huge boulders remind me of like the Seychelles. Yeah. Not that I've been there yet, <laughs> but pictures of it. Yeah. The sand is beautiful. Oh, so nice under your feet. Wow. And the palm trees <laughs> and the crystal clear sea. Yeah. I'm going to go for a snorkel now. <laughs> it's pretty choppy water, but it's so refreshing. Yeah. But this is us for the next hour or so. Yeah. We've forgotten that we need food, we'll, we'll deal with that problem now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just like, beach! It's <laughs> <laughs> just going to say my body's kind of shut down, yeah. except that it's not going to get food until we get home tonight. Yeah, this is a non-food day. <laughs> <laughs> Tayrona National Park is a pristine chunk of protected tropical rainforest on Colombia's northern Caribbean coast. Cabo San Juan is known as one of the most beautiful places in Tayrona National Park. And with its crystal clear water, crescent shape and fine white sand, lined with palm trees, it's no wonder that it's popular with many tourists. As you can see from the number of people here. Ideally, we'd have loved to spend a night or two here inside the national park and explore some other beaches, but our schedule is pretty tight. So we're squeezing it into a day and still wanted to do the jungle hike. It's possible, as you can see, but maybe take a taxi, not buses, as that really slowed us down. There are two entrances to the national park that can be reached by public bus or taxis. We entered via the El Zeno entrance because we wanted to do the shorter hike, which takes two hours. The other entrance, called Calabazo, involves a three and a half hour hike through the jungle, which might be nicer if you have a few days here, because you have more chance to see more nature along the way and is supposedly less touristy. If like us you prefer quieter beaches, then it is possible to head over to La Piscina, which is about a 20 minute walk from this beach. We would definitely have checked it out if we had more time. Oh, what a beautiful place. It's such a shame to leave. We've actually uh, just found ourselves an easier way home rather than a two hour hike followed by the two buses. We saw a boat leaving and just went over and asked and they said if we give them some ID, they will let us get on the boat back to Taganga and then we can get the bus back from there. So we're gonna give them some ID and we get to Taganga, go to a cash point and uh, get back. But that is gonna be so much easier, save us a lot of time. There's the boat. Yeah, Craig was pretty happy when I came running back along the beach, partly because I was running and it made him laugh, but also because I got to say to him, there's actually a boat that we can get on. We don't have to do the two hour muddy crazy hike back. So we are so happy about this. Back to Taganga where we went to yesterday, which is near to where we're staying, and we can just hop on a bus home. Sad to be leaving this beach, but happy that we don't have to trek back for that two hour hike. <laughs> Kirsty running was the only reason I was laughing. It's like a Baywatch moment. They told me to be really quick. They're like, the boat, the boat leaves in three minutes. You've got to get your life jacket. I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I ran back and Craig was just like. <laughs> so the last boat was full and ran out of life jackets. So we've had another half an hour in the sea. Yeah, so and nice. another boat has come for us. See, the boats are just like the buses. The 4.30 boat is leaving at five past five. <laughs> <laughs> He said the next boat will come in five minutes. I mean, we got I'm another happy. half an hour. Yeah, I'm happy that way around. We ended up with more than two hours on the beach. So. Yeah, happy yeah. days. <laughs> so glad to have got more than 20 minutes. Though. <laughs> yeah. We're coming back though. <laughs> the little doggy's coming with us. <laughs> oh, I can get you doing it. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Oh, that was a good way of getting lifted on. Okay. Lift up. Some smelly amigos have been in this. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a dip into Gango as well. Maybe we will. <laughs> cool us off and refresh us. Let's go. 
Although the boat option is a lot of fun and much faster than taking three public buses and hiking two hours through the jungle to get to Cabo San Juan, this place really is as much about the journey as it is the destination. The jungle hike was beautiful and not too strenuous. If you're short on time or don't like hiking in the heat, then this boat is a great option. But as you can see from this footage, it is not the smoothest or most comfortable journey. So if you suffer from seasickness, then this one hour boat journey might not be the best choice. However, leaving Tyrena Park on a boat does give a completely different perspective of it. Looking back at it from the water was like looking at a lost world, full of nature with jungle and dramatic cliffs dropping off into the sea. Here. <laughs> Welcome to Taganga and we're here just in time for sunset. We are. We've just got to quickly go and get some cash to pay for the boat yeah. and then we're going to head back to a restaurant that we went to yesterday. It's really nice. Yeah. Sit Lunch there, get dinner and watch the sun go down. Yeah. Lunch didn't happen so dinner is going to. <laughs> yeah. Haven't really eaten anything since breakfast. <laughs> We finally found a cash point that was willing to give us cash. Amazing. Thank you, Banco Colombia. <laughs> yeah, so we paid for the boat. Now we're going to just pick one of these bars along here and look over the bay and have some things to eat and drink. Yes, yeah. we're pretty sure we picked one. It's called Pachamama. The menu looks really, really good. So yeah, I think we're going to head in here. Really chilled, relaxed vibe as well. There's live music here. And also, check out the colours. The water is so much stiller than round on the north coast. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, our backsides are dead now. Yeah, Little yeah. Taganga Bay is lovely. Uh, we really? spent the day chilling here yesterday. It was so nice. Nice to come back. We even said yesterday, oh, but nice to come back for a little sunset food and drink. And here we are. <laughs> Hola, amigo. Don't go one What a day! <laughs> Back in our happy place, got ourselves some cocktails, nice views of the sea. Ordered myself a nice little Greek salad to get some Greek vibes back and some chips. And Craig ordered himself a. And I've ordered myself a burger. I just thought I'm going all out. Second meal of the day, missed out on lunch, so yeah, getting a burger. I just wanted something refreshing after a hot day in the sun. But yeah, we hope you've enjoyed seeing this little part of Colombia, the Caribbean, as much as we have. It's been awesome swimming in the Caribbean Sea after so long of cold, like hiking through different parts of South America and then finally getting somewhere nice and warm and getting in the sea. Oh. Yeah, Tyrona National Park is stunning. It really is a tropical paradise. But our top tip would be get the boat from Taganga. Yeah. It works out, I think, at about 16 um, English pounds. It saves so much more time yeah. than getting the buses it's and the two-hour hike. I'm glad we did both, but um, yeah, it's a little bit hard on the on the backside of the boat. <laughs> Not gonna lie, can't feel it, but um, and it takes about an hour, but yeah, so worth it. At least do it one way on the boat. Yeah, to be honest, in hindsight, I'm kind of glad that we did it the way around we did because you want to see the hike, you want to see all the nature. It's beautiful, but it's also a bit treacherous. So just do it one way and get the boat back. Like we did, it worked out pretty well for us. We didn't plan it this way, but you know, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Absolutely, but yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers to Tyrona National Park and Taganga. Yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we will see you soon for more adventures here in Colombia. And please subscribe. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ciao.